So the lab that we're going to be doing today is going to cover phase changes um, and the different states of matter. So if you look at your course packs on pages 14 and 15, you'll see that there are um, some lines that uh, are there for you to describe the different states of matter. Go ahead and with your desk partner right now, decide, um, work together to come up with definitions of solids, liquids, and gases, and then um, draw pictures of how you think the particles would look in a solid, a liquid, and a gas um, in your uh, course packs. So let's talk about the difference between solids, liquids, and gases for just a second. So what can we say about a solid, definition of a solid? It has a definite volume and shape. Okay, good. So this is going to mean that it's going to have a definite volume, it's always going to be the same, and it's going to have a definite shape. All right? If that's true, in a solid, the particles are going to be tightly packed together and vibrating in place. Okay? They're going to be tightly packed together and vibrating in place. Now, you didn't have to draw it exactly this way, um, but all the particles are vibrating. Remember that they're constantly moving. Okay? Um, and what is, uh, if we wanted to find the average kinetic energy of these particles, what would we be finding? It's a vocabulary term from this unit. The average kinetic energy of the particles as they're vibrating in place is the, is the temperature. Good. All right. So then for a liquid, um, what makes a liquid different than a solid? Okay, so they're going to be less tightly packed and they're sort of going to slide around next to each other. So I'll draw that for you. So they're going to be sort of more like this, and they sort of sort of swoosh in between and out of each other. They don't, there's, those squiggly lines aren't really there, I'm just saying, they're sort of, they slide around each other. All right, um, yeah? Uh, the volume's definite and the shape's non-definite. Good. So, this, uh, the volume is going to be definite. It's absolutely going to stay the same amount of volume, but the shape is going to change based on the shape of the container. So, um, this one can change. All right, what about with um, the gas? What about with the gas? Uh, it's kind of yeah, good. So the volume is actually going to expand to fit the container. Um, and uh, the shape can also change as well. All right. So, what would the particles look like for a gas? They could they're just be moving freely. They're going to be moving pretty fast, okay, and freely, and they're going to be very spaced out. Okay, there's going to be a lot more space between them, and instead of sliding past each other, they're going to be bouncing around like crazy. All right. Does that make sense for how there's a difference between solids, liquids, and gases? Okay. Okay. So now is the part where we're going to start working on the lab. So if you're looking at pages 14 and 15, we're mostly going to be working on page 14 right now. Okay, and we're going to do this as a class. Up here at the front, I've set up a, um, a thermometer on a ring stand. So this is our thermometer, um, and this is our ring stand. Um, the proper way to use this is you never want to let your thermometer touch the bottom or the edges of the glass. Okay, that's going to make a very big difference in measuring the temperature. You only want to get the temperature of the substance inside. To turn the hot plate on, um, you are just going to take, there's two knobs, the one says stir, one says heat. You just turn the heat knob, and we're going to turn this up to about eight or nine, okay? But before I do that, we need to put our substance in here. So I'm going to put my goggles on. Um, I'm not wearing gloves because I'm just using ice today, and I feel pretty comfortable using water without gloves on. Uh, but if you were to be doing this, you should definitely have gloves on. So um, I'm going to fill up this um, beaker with about 500 milliliters of ice. All right. Can, no, this container stores bad chemicals when it's not being used for ice. So, no, you can't eat it. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to shake it down so it gets more of the 500 level, but there's lots of gaps, so I'm not too worried. 
So what I'm gonna do is put this onto the hot plate. I have not turned the hot plate on yet, okay? And then I'm going to take my thermometer and I'm gonna push it down and into my substance, making sure that I check and see that it is not touching the glass anywhere, okay? Um, once this turns on, I won't be able to touch the glass anymore, so I've got hot mitts and tongs up here to move it around. You should never use a thermometer to stir chemicals that you're using on a keypad. That is bad. That's a great way to break a thermometer and get yourself sick. So instead, whenever you want to stir, you want to use a glass stir rod because it's going to be the same as the outside. So if we have to stir it at all, we're going to start using the glass stir rod, which I'm just going to lay right here on the counter. Okay. Once you put it in, uh, thermometers take anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds to get their bearings. So if you take a look at your um, course pack, you'll see that there's a spot for the initial temperature in degrees Celsius. So you don't have to write degrees Celsius for all of those going across, you just have to write the temperature. This thermometer um, is only a Celsius thermometer, so you'll be easily able to tell what it is. Um, you might have to, when you come up, adjust the thermometer to be able to read, to take all the readings. Um, so to do that, you just hold on here, um, hold on to the top of the thermometer, squeeze this, and then you can slide the thermometer up and down. Um, each of you is going to come up um, and uh, take the temperature. Not every time, though. So if you look, there's a big chart, and I didn't fill in all the numbers on the chart. Um, we can do that once we get started. But we're going to take the initial temperature in a second. Then I'm going to turn the hot plate on. And what we're going to do is every 30 seconds, we're going to take the temperature of this cup of ice. And I swear to you, today's lab is watching ice melt until it boils. Um, it's more exciting than it sounds. Yay. <laughs> um, and so we're just going to record the temperature. Whenever we notice that we have more of the next state of matter than we have right now, so right now it's 100% solid, then we'll just put a circle around that to indicate, okay, it's mostly liquid now or okay, now it's mostly turning into gas. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, so how it's gonna work is I have this timer, and once I turn the hot plate on, um, uh, Micaiah will come up. You have to wear your goggles when you come up, okay? You're gonna read the thermometer, and then um, as soon as she, we're gonna start the timer, she'll start it, she'll come up and read the temperature, and she'll hand the, the, the timer to Angela, who's sitting next to her, before she keeps going. Um, then Angela's just going to look at it, and when it says 30 seconds, which is half a minute, 0.5, then Angela will pass this to Kai, and she'll come up. Then Kai will come up when it says one minute, and all the way around the room. So it'll go around and back and around again. Everybody's probably going to wind up with it twice. So everyone will probably take two, maybe three temperature readings. Um, so it won't be a lot, but watching ice melt isn't that exciting. So um, this way you don't have to stand here and stare at it the whole time. We're just gonna, the whole class is gonna do it and you can record the data in your book as we go. Are there any questions about that? Don't miss your turn. Does that everybody understand? Don't miss your turn, otherwise you're gonna be missing data and it's gonna be hard to make the graph later, okay? So you only have to have your goggles on when you're coming up. Um, but I am gonna start the hot plate right now. I'm putting it between eight and nine, and I'm gonna, um, Makai, I'm just gonna actually have you go up, and I'm gonna hand this to Angela. Um, so she's gonna read the temperature, and then in any color but purple, she's gonna write it up here in the box. Go ahead, read the temperature. It says zero. Well, then you should write a zero right there. And then as soon as it gets to 30 seconds, Angela will come up. Um, but before she leaves her desk, she's gonna pass it to the person next to her. Does everybody understand what we're doing here? We're literally watching ice melt as a class, yeah. okay? Um, not to worry though, the rest of you, I'm gonna give you something to do while we're watching the ice melt, okay? So we're not just bored watching the ice melt, okay? All right, thank you.